Good evening. Welcome to um, Rowan Temple of Light's three year anniversary. I'm very excited that we've made it this far. And by we, I mean by everyone who joined in at one time. Um, everybody made a impact. Um, I learned so much from everybody that came in as a as a guest or even you know to be partners for a time. Sorry. I do not know what just happened. My computer. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about the history. Rowan Temple of Light, um, okay, well, let me start back at my history. <clears throat> back in 2012, I started having gatherings, um, just local ones. I was just looking for pagans. Facebook was going and met some great people there, and even, at, even from MySpace, and got together and had gatherings. Um... 2014, I um, joined an online coven and began working on my priestessing. Um, I was elevated to priestess in November of 2014, and then in May of 2016, I was elevated to high priestess. I was then told that, hey, wish you well, go off and do your own thing. So, I did. <clears throat> and, um, with a an, an priestess that I elevated, and I've only elevated one person. I'm supposed to elevate more, but I have not yet. Um, it, they, people really have to prove themselves to, to get there. Um, anyway, my high priest did not have his own church or legal paperwork, so he told me that I needed to sign up with Universal Life Church and, um, get my credentials from there. So, I did what my high priest told me to do. So, that's where I got my legalities at to do what I do. Um, I am working on creating my own so that I can be state recognized. I mean, well, I am state recognized as far as ceremonies and things like that. I actually got a wedding coming up this weekend. Um, but, um, but anyway, it would be nice to have a pagan church in West Virginia. Um, I, I know I know there has to be somewhere, but I, I would I would like to be one of them. That's that's one of the, the goals for the future. Um, that's been my goal. Actually, my big end goal is for anyone to have a space where anyone, whether they become in a poor or homeless or um, coming out of jail and they've had their time at the halfway house and they need somewhere else to go before they get on their feet, I wanted to create, I want to create a space for that. That's my end goal. Um... So, that's how I got um, in, okay, so September 1st, 2017, um, my friend and I, like I said, who I, I had elevated, um, we originally started, um, Roman Temple of Light together. Um, again, people come and go, it is what it is. Not everybody's meant to stay in your life all the time. 
um, like I said, I've learned something from everybody. And it, feel, it feels really great as I look toward the future. Um, if anybody comes on here, I'm open to questions. Um, okay, so we started and originally it was going to be a West Virginia, Pennsylvania thing. I was going to run things in Pennsylvania and she was going to run things down here in West Virginia. Well, um, after that, I found out that Mama had cancer and... Um, I made the decision that I wanted to come back to West Virginia and I wanted to be here with her and Papa in whatever time they had left. I wanted to spend my time with them. So, home I came. Um, and then we started having the gatherings and Dancing Witches was born and so in 2018, um, in May, well, for Beltane, M Mandy and myself um, did the rituals at um, <clears throat> Earth Magic. Um, Mo gave us a chance, and um, it, it was really nice. Um, so I'm forever grateful for her. Um, that was a hell of a w welcome home gift. Um, then for Pagan Pride that year, um, we did, it was, it was a group of us, a pretty large group, but, um, at that point, from May to July, it, things progressed very fast and we had a large group. So, we, we did rituals at Pagan Pride that year, and, um, the following year, well, after, after that, um, Mark asked if he wanted to hand, if, if I would be willing to take it over. I said, absolutely. Um, I would love to because it helps with my dream of, you know, building this great West Virginia community. So, I, t I took on that project. I told him, I said, on one condition, we, everything stays in, in your name until you know, after 2019, so that I can learn, you know, you can help me, you can guide me, so I can help learn. Then, Pagan Pride was over, um, 2019 was a success. I, I think it went very well. Um, the only complaint was it was hot, I know it was hot, it was bad timing. I wish that I wish that it could, you know, we could have the sun and everything but it not be so hot on a, on a Pagan Pride Day. I wish that we could magically do it. Um, I'm telling you though enough people work together they can accomplish anything. Um, so that led up to is it after after Pagan Pride, um, everybody that had been on the journey with us so far, all of that was over. Um, people have difference of opinions, and I'm pretty steadfast in mine. I, I am aware that in a coven situation, that the high priest and high priestess are the ones that make the final decisions. And I'm, I, I struggled with that because I wanted a council and I wanted everybody to have their own input. Um, and we made up a list of laws that never got publicized because, um, Everybody kind of fell fell out. Time time of our togetherness was up. I hold no ill feelings for anybody, and I accept that the universe has a plan. So I accepted that and I moved on. 
I'm good with that. Um, what does what does the future hold? The future holds Pagan Pride. So I gotta tell you guys this. <clears throat> I'm so proud. Yeah, we had to go online this year because of because of COVID, and it was a success. Six over six point five million. No, over six point five thousand views on um, the Facebook video. That's not counting how many people have viewed on YouTube. And I know they've viewed on YouTube because people have commented. And I'm trying to get people um, with who they need to talk to. But every single... Uh, I'm forever thankful for um, Asen and Joe for... Um, all the work that they did, they actually separated the whole event up into everybody's um, everybody's individual class. So you don't have to watch the whole entire video. You can actually go to Roman Temple of Light on YouTube and um, pick a class that you want to view. And it's there. Um, but they, they took everything... And, and did online be I, I can take no credit for Pagan Pride this year except that um, I managed to pull everybody together um, for the classes and it was a struggle because some people um, had to back out because technology didn't work or um, they were m mentally not together and that is very understandable this has been a very rough year and we our mental health is very fragile right now so I have absolutely no problem with anybody backing out um, we managed to get some good people in there and um, and, and take over and I think it was a success so I am going bear with me a second I'm going to go to Facebook and I'm going to look and see if anybody is commenting there because you know, not seeing anything. Nope. No comments. But, um, these, these are things that I wanted you all to know. Um, I'm so overwhelmed at how many likes and how many people follow it let me see if I can find it just bear with me a second Okay, so on the second stream, so the very ending of Pagan Pride, it was, we had about 726 people. Almost there. Um, okay. Yeah, 6.5 thousand views. Um, that's how much it was on Facebook. Now, I don't know exactly how to figure it out on YouTube, but I just, I want to say thanks. And I appreciate all that you guys have done and you keep doing um, for us. Um, anybody that won 
the door prizes from Pagan Pride. I did finally get them sent out today. I apologize that it has taken so long. Um, today was my first day out driving uh, since I had my kidney surgery three weeks ago. And um, it was rough on me. So that's why I'm not a, my <laughs> my total cheerful self. I'm kind of in pain. Um, but I will be back. Um, I've got a list of classes that I'm going to do. So look for them on under the Rowan Tree. And I'm I'm not stopping. I'm going to continue to to teach and um, do crafts and. It's one thing that you need to know about Rowan Temple of Light. We don't follow any regular Wiccan path. Um, I'm an eclectic pagan. Um, I'm an animist. And, um, well, I'm a Norse animist. Um, it, I didn't realize that I was. I knew that there was no name for what I was. Um, until I did my ancestry. And I followed, um, my people and their path and found out what religion they were and whenever I read up on it I went whoa oh my gosh that's that's me that's everything so I'm an I'm an animist um well, I'm a Norse animist I also but but I I teach eclectic paganism because I believe it's better to be know a little bit of everything and be you know, it's good to learn past, if you, my, on, my coven experience has been online primarily, and whenever it was in person, we had done a couple rituals together, but it was never coven-like, so it's not, not your typical coven environment that's just not how I work um, I guess maybe if I would have been in a normal coven setting I may know things differently and do things differently um, but my path came through online and I, I love being online and using that as a tool um, to communicate with people so that's why I do the things that I do um, but I keep pushing myself and trying to create new and different ideas of things that we can do. Um, but again, today's our three year anniversary. It's amazing how much we've accomplished in three years. And like I said, I, I say we because I call it me and Rowan Temple of Light because I'm a separate person from that but it is just me and um I appreciate everybody that had you know been a part of it and um for all the lessons that they taught um we've had a lot of a lot of guest teachers and, um, it's been great, but if, if I was going to share it with anybody, it would be shared with the person that I originally thought it up with. Hi, Brenda. Um, thank you for joining. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, the people at the gatherings, the people in Rowan Temple of Light community, all of these people have taken a part in what we've become because the ideas come and that's the, that's the driving force behind anything. Like, I really do try to take everybody's ideas into consideration, um, when making any decisions. Um... 
how I do Pagan Pride is I, I ask people to, to teach or take part, and once they say yes, they are automatically on the team to make all the planning for the event. Um, and everybody this year got along so freaking amazing. They... Okay, so imagine... Imagine going on stage and you you get out there and you perform your heart out. And whenever you come off that stage, you've got all of your... Everybody else that is performing patting you on the back, telling you how good of a job you did, supporting each other. That's how Pagan Pride went this year. And that's how I want it to continue. Um, our community needs that support. And... I, I just thought it was the greatest thing ever. Um, support, respect, love. That's, that's what our community needs. So anyway, I wanted to do a craft tonight, but it's the full moon, and I'm not feeling all that crafty because, like I said, I'm kind of hurting a little bit. But... Um, I did not prepare anything to do a full moon ritual or something like that. I am going to do something by myself um, because I think it is a great time to let go of things and people and I think that we all should do that. Um, Harvest moon, you're it's, it, it's my favorite time of year. Why? Because you reap what you sow. And I go through this every year. I am a Virgo. I was born a couple days before the, the equinox or Mabin. So Mabin is my favorite holiday. Um, September be, becomes my time. And, um... I, I love it. So expect a lot this month. I'm not not anything this weekend because we're we're doing our regular um, camp out um, every Labor Day weekend. I always use it as my getaway after Pagan Pride to just kind of decompress and let things settle. And um, de stress, be in nature, and love the goddess and everything that she has given. So, um, I've been on here for about a almost a half hour rambling and just telling our history and future and what I mean when I say we and are. It's me, I'm, I'm, I'm a lone wolf right now. Um, here. So, um, I love you guys and thanks for your support and I will see you soon. You, you'll start seeing classes on Under the Rowan Tree. Um, love you and blessed full moon.